Hello, my people. I come again today. I de greet everybody. I de greet uh, uh, small and big. I de greet woman. I de greet uh, man. Today I go use uh, pidgin English. Make I talk about um, a request. Uh, some of our followers, some of our members in this our group, in this our page, tell me say make I talk about them because everybody they talk about them. So I go use a uh, pidgin English talk about the young man Mubad, you know, the young talented musician where died recently. When you look at this picture now, now I'm with him, Papa, they there, you know, this young man, now God bless him with a lot of blessing, very talented, you know. And why I want to talk this, be say because there's a lot of controversy surrounding his death. You know, everybody don't talk, don't talk so much. I never knew him before. But because of uh, waiting they go on now so, uh, in uh, Facebook, in social media, that's why I have to listen to his music, you know, hear a story about him. Um, it's a pitiful story. But one thing I want to talk about it is uh, concerning the father's side, you know, because I'm a father. Because um, this is one of the uh, uh, things that they talk for. This is my page all the time, parenting, 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 taking care of uh, our children, you know, being father for our children, ray father, not just to burn our children and leave it. So I need to talk about it because it's beautiful. We know uh, somebody like him, children like him, they die every day. People are dying every day. But when you look at his own story, it concerns us, you know, no matter who you are in life, whether you are poor, rich, or whether you are professional, whether you are not, you know, his life touch everybody. His life history touch everybody. Even if you listen to his music, you know, we don't they talk and say, you know, they good, or you know, they good, or things they happen, or make una come, or I need help, or in different ways. Nobody, nobody show any concern. But it's not waiting I want to talk today. Waiting I want to talk today now about the father. But the father, first of all, is not worthy to be a father. I have a reason, you know. Like I always say, you can go and check uh, some of my old videos. It's not only just to pregnant a woman and go away. You have to be father, you know. As a father, you have to lose some of your ego. You have to lose some of the things where you they do before you become father, you know, and face your children. You know, you know what I mean? You have to guide them because this world is full of wicked. People that is laughing, smiling with you, none of them, almost all of them don't like you, you know, and there is a lot of bad people outside there. You know, consign anybody. Let me tell you that you are crying today or that you are going through whatever that you are going through. You know, consign everybody. And this is what we need to know. Talk of our children that doesn't know their left or right. You know, the man made a lot of mistakes. You know, but what I want to generalize it. You know, because whatever happened to the life of this young man, the father contributed. Where were you, where you when he was crying? You know, the stepmother no do anything. In own mother, all these people they die alive. They no care. What they care is money. What which kind of people are these? You know, do you people actually think one day what you have, the kind of talent, the kind of bless that young man was? You know, many many parents they pray make their children get half of that. Look at look at the mother of uh, Bonner Boy, for example, and look at other people. We know they take their children play, you know, and the, the world hates your children. If you don't know, the world hates you. Nobody cares for anybody, you know. So come be say the person again, a musician. Come be say the person, a, a popular person, a celebrity. That is double hate on top of the one where they hate them before. So we need to take care of our children. You know, the father just sit down there, they wait. They wait for what? And you see your, your child in the midst of wolves. Your child in the midst of dirty and ugly people. Your child in the midst of wicked people. Are you blind? Are you not seeing? You just stay there like a weakling. They there like, say, you know, be human being. And they take your life. 
They take the life of your children, the life of your boy. They play. You know, you stay day there. They do waiting. What makes you a man? What makes you a man? You know, I'm not just happy about this man because you don't do anything. Okay, the, the young man they was sick. They called you. They say, you don't know, react like a man because you never, you never depended on taking care of him. You never talk of him. It's only about what he will give you. It's a very shameful thing. You are not worthy to, I don't know. You let us down as men. You let us down as parents. You know, look at, go out there and see how people are trying by all means, mostly men, to protect their children. So that is why I say I should talk about what we are going to learn from this incident. I'm not, I'm not interested in talking about it because his life is full of controversies. You know, I hope police will find the people that are involved in his death and let his soul, let his precious soul rest in peace. You know, I'm, I'm just, it's a pity that we lose a young, talented, wonderful man, you know, because his father contributed to it one way or the other for just keeping silence without helping this man, this young man when he needed help. You've done more, more than, you've done wrong so much, you know. So that is what, what I'm trying to explain here is the lessons. Now that this thing happened, I'm just talking to the men all over Africa, the men all over Nigeria, the men all over in Igbo land. Don't leave your male child mostly or your children, even male or female, to the hands of wolves. After all, our African culture, in African tradition, the children belong to men. So what are you doing? I don't know what the man was thinking that God will come from heaven to help his son, you know? And it's not that the man is sick. It's not that he just messed up. He messed the whole thing up. Anyway, I'm, I'm just, my video is that we have to learn. It's part of what I've been, I've been saying in my videos. If you understand the book, you should go to my other videos and listen. I talk about family. I talk about the circumstances. I talk about protecting our children, being there for our children, not only being father, theoretically, being father in practice. So what we have to learn in this is not to cry when our children die. What did you do to prevent him? Because I talk about red flags, because I talk about signs. There must be signs, you know, if you are close to your children, if you become friend to your child, to your children, you must see the red flags. And that red flags or those signs is for you to pretend, prevent it, prevent what, what is coming to your children, because nobody, nobody like your children. The world hates your children if you don't know. So the only thing that you have to do is to do as a father. Try what you can do to prevent them. Try what you can do to protect them from the wolves, from the wicked people. That is what we have to learn or one of the things that we have to learn in this. That is what I want to talk in this video. It's still the same, your uncle, your friend, and one of you, Kenny Chuk, please share this video. Please follow us. Please do whatever you can to share this video and let others hear what this message is. I thank you, people. We'll see you in the next video.